Hello everyone! Welcome to Stilt Video Series. If you're a Canadian looking to open a bank account in the US, the odds are that you'll stumble across several challenges. If you have a business that focuses on the US market, or you have a house there, you'll definitely find it handy to open a bank account as opposed to having many expenses while converting US dollars to Canadian dollars. And that's precisely what this article is about. Introducing a list of Canadian banks in the USA alongside other important guidelines for a foreigner. Can Canadians have bank accounts in the US? It goes without saying that banks function by a range of given rules and specifications. And while there is definitely some extra paperwork involved, it is not that difficult to open a bank account as a Canadian. It's certainly not more difficult than working in the US as a Canadian citizen. For instance, in this case, the TN visa has been introduced in an attempt to simplify the process of finding work in the US as a Canadian. That being said, the answer to this question is definitely affirmative. At the same time, depending on the service facilitated by the bank, you can even set up an account denominated in Canadian currency. But this is entirely up to you, depending on what applies best to your situation. When you want to set up an account, you'll be required to provide photo identification and a social security number. Considering that you're a foreign national and you don't have a social security number, you'll still have to supply identification and sign a declaration referred to as a Form W-9. In Canada, the equivalent of the social security number is the Canadian social insurance number. The bank may require you to supply this. Reasons why a Canadian might have a US bank account. There are various reasons why you might be interested in finding a comprehensive list of Canadian banks in the USA. We'll assess the most common ones. They work on a visa in the US. If you work on a visa in the US, it goes without saying that having a US bank account will come in handy. For instance, you cannot get a TN loan unless you have a US bank account. This is a pretty basic procedure. Whenever you apply for a loan, you ought to have a US bank account. It's true that you won't have access to the same loans as US residents, but you will still have some options to choose from, granted that you need financing, which leads us to the topic of US loans for Canadians. These loans can be used for building credit in the US, buying a car, or even for a down payment on a house. They own a business in the US. Furthermore, you might be concerned about a list of Canadian banks in the USA if you own a business in the US, or you're planning to do so in the near future. If you have already established a company in the US, then you can open a corporate bank account. This is linked to many financial advantages, especially if you operate online payments with other firms based in the US. They travel to the US often. On a different note, Canadians that travel to the US on a regular basis will most likely find a US bank account handy. You will find that paying for goods while having a bank account is easier and also eliminates the costs of converting different currencies. To that end, if you're already considering applying for a TN visa and researching TN visa taxes, then perhaps you should open a bank account in the US as well. They own property in the US. If you've already made a financial investment in the US and you own property, having a bank account is a must. On the other hand, if you are planning on getting property in the US and you're considering a TN visa mortgage, you'll most likely need a US bank account at some point. Canadian banks in the US. Now, after briefly introducing the main reasons why one would need a list of Canadian banks in the USA, let's get to the actual list, shall we? 1. BMO Harris. BMO Harris makes it very easy for a Canadian to open a US bank account. There are many advantages worth noting. For one thing, you can go through the entire procedure over the phone. This can be really convenient if you don't have a lot of time on your hands to go to various banks. At the same time, there are some specific accounts that don't entail a balance requirement for waiving fees. On the other hand, a drawback could be that interest is paid specifically on the highest tier account. In addition, note that if you plan on operating a bank account with BMO Harris, you won't be required to open a Canadian account as well. Concurrently, bear in mind that BMO Harris has partnered with the Canadian bank BMO. Still, they are independent of one another. The process is time-efficient and you'll most likely get it over within a few days' time. 
to CIBC US. This is another bank that provides you with the opportunity of opening a US bank account. However, before considering this, you should know that you must be an existing CIBC client prior to opening an account. This could be seen as a drawback by some people. Another potential disadvantage is the fact that the balance for maintaining the waive fees is quite high. After pointing out some of the potential disadvantages, let's move our focus on the benefits, shall we? For one thing, there is the fact that you can set up your account online without necessarily having to go to a physical bank. Concurrently, transferring money from your US bank account to your Canadian bank account is effortless. Another thing that may be of interest to you is the compatibility of the account with Apple Pay. 3. RBC Georgia Our list of Canadian banks in the USA continues with RBC Georgia, whose prerogative is to allow you to simplify your finances, so to speak. This bank enables you to set up an account or get a US credit card, US loan, US mortgage, depending on what you need. In order to set up an account, you don't need a US address, as your Canadian address will be just enough. Plus, you don't need to provide a social security number. However, you should have an account at RBC Royal Bank in Canada. At the same time, a great advantage provided by this bank is that you can pay your bills in a matter of seconds, whether you're in the USA or you're in Canada. In addition to that, considering that you have to transfer money, this is made readily available and accessible through RBC Online Banking. You can do this free of charge, and the best part is that you can transfer money from your Canadian bank account to your US bank account. It would be safe to say that this bank aims at making life easier for Canadians living in the US. With that in mind, if you're traveling to the US and you want to save some money on foreign exchanges, RBC Bank is worth considering. Concurrently, this bank outlines that the staff is expressly dedicated to helping foreigners comprehend the differences between the Canadian and U.S. banking systems. With the premium checking account, you no longer have to worry about foreign transaction fees. 4. Desjardins, Florida Desjardins Bank allows people to make day-to-day -day transactions really easily. Concurrently, it does this at a low cost. In case you become a member of a Desjardins case in Canada, there are many advantages you'd benefit from. Simply put, when you leave for Florida, your account will already be open. If you want or need to, you have the possibility of transferring money in advance. What's more, you will already have a Desjardins Bank debit card. To open an account, they require a valid photo ID and your passport. Nevertheless, in order to have an account, you should note that they ask for a minimum, which is to be paid to Desjardins Bank via a funds transfer. Depending on the type of account you are setting up, the required sum of money will differ. Online banking is really convenient as well, enabling you to make transfers between different accounts, check your balances on a regular basis, pay your bills, assess your statements, check past transactions, and so on. 5. NatBank by National Bank If you want to open an account for your savings or be able to make transactions, NatBank can assist you in this respect as well. Having a bank account here comes with the following benefits. Access to more than 1,200 ATMs in Florida and other U.S. states, e-statements, and online banking. Depending on the type of account you want to set up, the specifications will differ. This is why it is better to contact an advisor to find out more information about the requirements you should meet for opening an account. 6. Chase Chase banking makes it very easy to open a bank account in the U.S. There are more types of accounts, and you can pick the one that addresses your specifications the best. In order to set up an account though, you will need a social security number or your driver's license or state ID. At the same time, just as in the case of other banks, you have to facilitate your contact information. Note that there is a minimum deposit required for opening an account with Chase. On a different note, if you are studying in the US, you might qualify for getting up to five subsequent years of $0 monthly fees. When you have opened your bank account with Chase, you can make transactions from almost anywhere via your tablet, phone, or computer, not to mention that there are 5,100 branches nationwide. 7. TD Bank And lastly, another bank worth including in our list of Canadian banks in the US is TD Bank. There are three types of accounts you can choose from, namely TD Simple Checking, TD Convenience Checking, and TD Premier Checking. For instance, 
In the case of the TD Simple Checking, there is no minimum balance required and there is no specific low monthly maintenance fee. What are the steps that you should follow for opening an account? You have to select your primary residence. In case your primary residence is in Canada, you can work with a TD Bank based in the US as cross-border customers. With that in mind, even if you're in Canada, you have to pick the closest bank location to you. After doing that, you can proceed with the online application process, which is to the point and prompt. You must provide your passport or Nexus card number. In addition to that, you have to supply a second form of ID. Your contact information should be included, as it is logical and, of course, your source of income. You might be required to answer a range of questions in order to verify your identity. However, this won't impact your credit score or anything of the kind. We hope that our video on the list of Canadian banks in the U.S. was comprehensive enough. We hope this video has been helpful to you. At Stilt, we provide financial services for immigrants and the underserved. Subscribe to our channel and visit stilt.com for more details.